Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ming Sa, and today we are finally checking out whether or not Flak has been buffed in the Advanced Wars reboot camp. I've gotten countless comments from people saying Flak feels different in this remake. I feel like I'm getting better rolls. I feel like I'm doing more damage on low health than I'm supposed to. Can you please investigate? So in this video, we are going to investigate. So Flak. He's one of the worst COs in the game. I think he's by far the worst CO in the game, at least in the base game, because how the game deals with having both a good luck modifier and a bad luck modifier is that it first rolls good luck and then it rolls bad luck. So Flak, how he works is he adds 0 to 14 to his attacks. It says 15, but that's a, they're just simplifying the dossier. Like, that's not how it works at all. They've carried over exactly the same uh, formula from Advanced Wars 2. So he rolls a number between 0 and 14, adds it to the good damage, and then he rolls a number between 0 and 9 and subtracts that. So because of the way good luck and bad luck interacts with each other, Flak is much more likely to end up somewhere in the middle of his uh, values. So he usually just ends up doing no extra damage at all, which is really, really bad. So, um, and then you have his uh, powers, they work in exactly the same way. Brute Force sets his good uh, luck to 39, his bad luck to minus 19, and his Barbaric Blow sets his good luck to plus 79, and his bad luck to minus 29. So, if you actually take the average values between his two powers, you can see that Brute Force and Barbaric Blow actually increases his damage dealt by a very beautiful amount on average. Because if you take plus 40, that becomes plus 20 on average, minus 20 becomes minus 10 on average. So that means that on average, Brute Force will net him a plus 10% luck damage, which is really bad. And his Barbaric Blow, if you take the half of plus 80, that's plus 40 on average, and then half of minus 30, that's minus 15 on average, you get plus 25. So that's why Flak is such a bad CO in original Advanced Wars 2. He just he very rarely gets any bonus damage at all. He has a chance to like score that very juicy uh, big hit, but it's so unlikely to happen uh, c compared to a CO like Nell. It, 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 like maybe it'll happen like once during your superpower if you have a big army. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out Flak's normal luck values. We're gonna start with a brute force. And we're just going to do a bunch of engagements here. Tank, uh, infantry versus medium tanks. And we're just going to see, like, on average, what does he get out of it. So, as I said, he should, on average, do 1 to 2 luck HP of damage against these medium tanks, if we're lucky. Uh, with all these engagements, we should get, a, like, a... We should get a pretty good image of what his luck damage looks like. So, I say... We just start smashing and see what happens. See if there's any... Yeah, so you can see. Okay, we dealt a full 4 HP there. That's very unlikely to happen, but it can happen. Another another jackpot. Okay. So far, I gotta say, it's it seems faithful to their original valleys. As you can see, Brute Force... Brute Force is a really bad power. You can see the amount of damage you get out of it. It's very low. You're just very likely to just roll zero with it. We've gotten three giant points uh, so far. We've dealt the full four HP like three times, which seems average to me. Another giant pot, so we got four giant pots so far. Pretty good. Most of the time, though, we're dealing zero HP or one HP, as is expected from Flak. A three HP one, pretty good. Another 2 HP 1. Another jackpot. So I might be a little lucky, but it seems like we're getting some decent jackpots. Right. So if we take a look at this, uh, if we take a look at the damage we've dealt here, I'd say brute force, at least when using full HP infantry, and these tanks, by the way, you can't see it right now because I'm blocking it, but they're on roads, so they get no extra defense. Um... But I'd, I'd say Brute Force pretty much works like it did in Advanced Force 2. Most of the time it does nothing. Sometimes you're lucky and you get the full blow. I'm sure someone can calculate the statistics of this particular engagement. I think these are like 30 engagements or, or whatnot. So, uh, yeah. Brute Force seems unchanged, at least on the surface. Let's try Barbaric Blow next. Alright, so here we are back again. And uh, this time around I'm going to be popping... Barbaric Blow. And uh, on... I guess on average, we should do about 2 to 3 HP of damage with this. 
with the occasional chance of getting a jackpot for 8 HP of damage, but that should be very rare. I will say, the power activations are a lot slower in the reboot camp compared to Advanced Wars 2. It takes a long while to cycle through all these units. Alright, let's see. Alright, 4 HP, 3 HP, 5 HP, no HP, 2 HP, 1 HP, 4 HP. Pretty bad, as you can see. Nowhere near Lady Law. Okay, that's a jackpot. We got one jackpot so far. We got one jackpot so far. But there's a lot of no damage uh, values here, too. Quite a few, in fact. Alright, we didn't see that one. We'll see that later. Yeah, well, you can see how many times we end up just dealing zero here. It's not great. There we go. We've gotten, what, one jackpot so far? Only one single jackpot. Man, this is a bad... Wow. You see how bad Flak is? My goodness. So many no doubt. Okay, that's another jackpot. 8 HP of damage. Very unlikely to happen, though. Right. Obviously, I could be a little unlucky. We, we do need a bigger sample size to confirm exactly, but I think we can definitely conclude that his normal and superpower works very similarly to how they did in Advanced Wars 2. This is usually what I'd expect to get out of Barbaric Blow and Brute Force on the original, so... However, we're gonna be testing a little bit more, because what people have been reporting to me is that he seems to deal more damage at lower health this time around. So that is what we will be testing out next. Okay, so here we are. The reason why I put forests under these infantry is to make them survive a single hit from the medium tank so I can bring them low. Otherwise, the medium tank has a chance of destroying them in one hit, which kind of ruins the point. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to pop Barbaric Blow. Why think when you can fight? I, I love that quote. And uh, we're going to see whether or not Flax Infantry can deal any significant damage. Now, in case you don't know, luck damage is supposed to be reduced by a unit's HP. So if you are 10% of your original HP, you, you only get 10% of your original luck value. Meaning that 1 HP units usually cannot inflict much damage to tanks and other vehicles. This is kind of like a failsafe put in place to make sure Luxios are not too broken. So... Let's see if Flank is able to score some decent hits at low HP. No. 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 Mm, one. Interesting. So it seems like the... Um, the anti-luck mechanic is still very much present in the reboot camp. These infantry, even when they roll max, are not capable of dealing much damage at all. Which is interesting, I think, because I've heard a lot of conflicting reports from people saying that they've taken a lot of damage from Black, despite him being on low HP. So there's definitely something very fishy going on here. But yeah, it, it does seem like 1 HP infantry are not capable of dealing luck damage. And if they do, as you can see, the most they can do is 1 HP of damage if they roll absolute maximum. So, it seems on surface... Okay, looks like I won. <laughs> However, I'm not quite done with my tests yet. I want to see what will happen if I attack with a unit that deals... One eight, one, more than 1%, because in Advanced Wars 1, there was actually a bit of a hidden luck modifier in place that would set your luck value to zero if you ha if you dealt 0% base damage. I'd like to repeat this test, but this time around, I want to use mechs, because mechs are capable of dealing more than 1% damage, but they still don't do as much damage. Um, like they, they shouldn't be able to do more than 10%, for example. So, I'll be right back, and we'll continue our experiments. Okay, so here we are, back again with mechs. And uh, this time around, we can see that their base damage is not zero. It's actually 
So we're gonna pump our barbaric blow. And we're gonna see if Flax Max are capable of dealing full luck damage. This this is the interesting bit. This is where I think they may have deviated quite a bit. Now in the original, the mechs would not be able to deal a lot of damage here. They'd be able to deal maybe one to two HP of luck damage depending on a high, high roll. Most of these mechs are on 3 HP, which means that their luck value is up to 30%. So with plus 80% from Barbaric Blow, they should not be able to do more than 2 HP, maybe 3 if they roll absolutely max. So let's see how these mechs perform now. No damage, no damage. 1 HP of damage, no damage, no damage, no damage, no damage. Hmm. Interesting. So it would appear that the mechs don't do any bonus damage either. Whatever they did to Flak, it is either present only in the campaign, or they patched it out somehow. Because so far, he seems to be working exactly like he did in the original. Even his mechs are not capable of dealing more damage here. Hmm. Yeah. Nothing strange going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing strange going on, all, on at all. It seems to work exactly like it did on Advanced Wars 2. I cannot find any changes. If you guys know anything that I don't, you have some clips to send me, by all means, send them to manxmemes at gmail.com. Let me know. But um, so far, I am not seeing any deviations from Flank from the original. Seems like he works like he always did. If there were any changes to him, they probably patched it out. So that concludes my theory crafting. Flack is flack. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Ba 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 ba.